Here's the field for the eighth. One is Can Commute, owned by Jim Jesk, trained by Nelson Willis, driven by Eric Ledford. Number two is Bay Rosa, owned by Bell Valley Farms, trained by Bill McHenry, Dale Heitman in the Sulky. Three is Bacall Blue Chip, owned by John Lengacher Jr., trained by Bruce Krauss, driven by Andy Miller. Four is Katie's Little Lady, owned by Paradise Incorporated, trained by Brian Calvert, driven by Ryan Anderson. Next in the post parade is six ideal cape owned by Theodore Mike and Ron Lepper, trained by Gary Kreischer, driven by Mike Osting. Seven is Fox Valley Muffin owned by Marty Engel in the Rucker Stable. Ken Rucker trains. Sam Widger drives. Eight is Long Affair owned by Mary Ingra, trained by Rick Dane Jr., driven by Pat Berry. Nine is That's a Party Girl owned by Barnett Zimmerman LLC, trained by Brett Schultz, driven by Tony Morgan. Here's five, Armbro Wand, owned by Stan Blumenfeld and PB Racing Stables, trained by Paul Blumenfeld, driven by Dave McGee. That's the field for the eighth, win, play, show, exact to trifecta wagering, as we mentioned, Saturday night. Of eighth of a mile to the start. Here they come. And they're off. That's Katie's little lady going for the lead. That's a party girl on the far outside. Can commute from the pylons, followed by Bay Rosa. Floating out of the gate, Fox Valley Muffin. They race into the first turn, and taking the early lead is Katie's little lady. Can commutes on the inside, second. Now third is That's a Party Girl, moves up on the outside in second. Can Commute is third. Bay Rosa is fourth by two. Then it's Bacall Blue Chip in fifth, followed in sixth by Armbro Wand, as That's a Party Girl makes the lead off of a first quarter that goes in 28 seconds flat. They head to the 3 eighths mile marker. That's a Party Girl, the leader a length and a half. Katie's Little Lady is second, brushing up on the outside. Bacall Blue Chip takes over third, and she's in a hurry. Armbro Wand behind her takes over fourth. Can Commute is fifth. Bay Rosa is six, parked in seventh. Fox Valley Muffin locked in eighth. Ideal Cape with covers the trailer. Long affair, but it's not moving cover. They race to the half. They're there. Bacall Blue Chip, the new leader. The half was through 56 and four, 28 and four for the second quarter. Bacall Blue Chip has the lead by a length and a half. Up on the outside is Armbro Wand into second. That's a party girl on the inside in third. Then it's Can Commute, second over in fourth. Katie's Little Lady shuffled in fifth. Fox Valley Muffin, third over in sixth. Bay Rosa shuffled in seventh. Up on the outside, Long Affair, fourth over in eighth. Trailing on the inside, Ideal Cape. Three quarters, 125 and 1, 28 and 2 for the third quarter. It's Bacall Blue Chip drawing clear by two. That's the party girls on the inside. Armbro Wands on the outside. Three deep is Can Commute. Looking for room between horses is Katie's Little Lady at mid stretch. Bacall Blue Chip's under a drive on the inside. That's a party girl far outside. Can Commute is coming on with Bay Rosa. It's going to be Bacall Blue Chip in front. Can't commute second tight for third between Bay Rosa or that's a party girl in 153 and three. Returning to the winner's circle with the hat trick is three Bacall Blue Chip. She's a four year old daughter of Magical Mike out of the Albatross Mare. Begonia Blue Chip is owned by John Lingenshire Jr. of Indiana. Bruce Krause, the trainer, he's in the winner's circle. Andy Miller, the driver. Bacall Blue Chip, a winner in 153 and three fifths, and that is a lifetime mark.